Hi everyone, I'm Joya and today I'm going to be doing a Bella Hadid inspired look. One, two, three, fuck it. My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. So today I thought I'd recreate Bella Hadid's look at the CDFA Awards. This was back in like summer 2019, so I'm pretty late to this. But I wasn't making YouTube videos at the time and I just remembered that iconic look with the ponytail and the makeup and all that. So I decided why not do it. But yeah, um, this is the look. If you guys want to learn how to achieve this inspired look, then just keep on watching. So first I'm gonna start off with hair. Well, her hair was kind of parted down the middle and then it was slicked back into a ponytail. So I'm gonna use a pick because I don't have anything else really to use. And I'm gonna try to part my hair down the middle. Okay, I think this is as good as I'm gonna get it. I'm doing this in the viewfinder, so it's kind of difficult. Next, I'm just gonna take my spray bottle and kind of just spray all this down. Okay, so I also kind of sprayed the back of my head and as well as under. Next, I'm just gonna take a brush like this, just like a round brush, and I'm just gonna brush the tops. I want this to be as sleek as possible. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna gel, try to gel like these parts down first and then go ahead and put it in the ponytail so that way it's easier to like hold up because if we just put it up directly, I feel like it's gonna get a little bit messed up. So I'm gonna be taking my Cantu gel. This is the strengthening styling gel and it's it's the maximum hold one and we want something with a lot of hold. I barely have any left, so hopefully this will hold. I'm just gonna start by just like slicking everything as if I'm gonna put it in a ponytail just to see how it's gonna hold. I'm just gonna brush again We want this to be extra smooth. Okay, so I'm gonna start to create my ponytail. I think I'm just gonna put it, I think hers was kind of in the middle of her head. It wasn't at the top. So I'm just gonna keep brushing until it's perfect. Okay, so I realized her hair goes up a little bit higher, so I just brushed this part up a little bit and I'm making it just a little bit higher and I'm using like a thick hair tie like this so that way when I tie it, it's really tight and it really holds the hair. So I'm probably gonna tie it just like three times. And I'm just gonna keep brushing it back and any parts that are sticking up, I'm just gonna secure that with a bobby pin. And then I'm making sure to brush the back up as well. I mean, you won't really be able to see it because of the hair, but yeah. I'm just gonna be adding more gel, just so that way the tops are extra sleek, especially right here. because hers was super sleek to her head. Next, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna smooth up any baby hairs I have up here, um, especially right here in the front. I have some that are just a little bit crazy. So I'm just gonna take a toothbrush, dip it in to the gel, and then hopefully you guys can see this, but I'm just gonna be like brushing them up like that. I wanna make sure you can still see the middle part, but I'm just brushing them up like this so that way they stay in place. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a difference between like up here and over here. So same thing, using my toothbrush, slicking everything back. 
And then I have these pieces here that just like to come out. So I'm just going to pin these just in the back so you can't even see the bobby pin. Just to make sure nothing comes out. And then you can also do the same thing with the back. Slick it up and then just bobby pin a little bit. Um, but you won't be able to see the back as much. So that's why I'm more just worried about the front. So my hair right now, my curls are a little frizzy as you can tell. So I'm just going to spray them a little bit. Just like the top where it's frizzy. So that way just it's a little bit damp. I'm going to be adding some of my gel. This is a different gel. This is the Curl Keeper gel. Um, I always do this on my wash days and everything like that. I just love this gel for your curls. I'm just gonna squeeze just a little bit in my hand and just kind of go through my hair and then scrunch it up a little bit. It's probably easier to do if you style your hair before, but then it might be a little bit harder to get the front. That's why I decided to do it in the ponytail. And then I'm just going to fluff my hair as much as possible because hers obviously was like extensions or like a separate ponytail, which is why hers was really big, but I'm just going to try to do my best with what I've got. I'm just going to try to pick out my ponytail just a little bit just so it has more volume at the top so that way it goes a little bit more up like that and it's not completely dry but this is pretty much what it looks like obviously this is just an inspired look so it's not gonna look exactly like it and with different hair types and everything like that it's gonna look different on everyone also if you want your ponytail to be a little bit bigger i'm cool with like how it looks you can also kind of split your hair in the middle and then put like a big bigger clip like right here and then let the rest of their hair fall and then that adds more volume but I kind of like how it looks like this obviously when it dries it's gonna be a little bit bigger but it's pretty much dry now and for just a little bit more of a hold I'm gonna spray a little bit of hairspray so that way when you're going out after quarantine um, your hair is not gonna move anywhere I'm using this matrix um, extra hold shaping hairspray you can use any hairspray you want um, I just had this, so I don't know. So I'm just gonna spray a little bit and then smooth it. And then just spray the tops as well. Okay, so now we are pretty much done with the hair. Okay, so now for the makeup. As I'm looking at the picture, um, she has a very kind of like smoky, light brown look. And then I can tell she has a little bit of like brown eyeliner at the end and it's kind of like just smoothed up like that. And then she also has some of that sparkly eyeshadow under her eye as well. It's all very smoked out and bronzy. So that is the look that we're going for today. So I'm zoomed in so you guys can see a little bit more. So for my moisturizer today, I'm going to be using the Garnier Glow Boost Illuminating Moisturizer. Actually, my boyfriend used a little bit of this. He got it and he has oily skin, so it didn't work for his face. But I have pretty dry skin. And I used this and it made my face just look so glowy and even. This is really good, especially um, if you're not wearing makeup that day. It really helps. But I think under my makeup, this is really going to help me give that glowy look that she has. It's kind of hard to do in the viewfinder, but I'm going to do it. And it feels really cool in there as well. I'm going to be careful to not mess with up here too much because I don't want to move anything out of place. Okay. And then do you see how that just kind of added a little bit of color to my face? It brought my face back to life. So once I let that sink in, I'm going to be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer just so that way everything is smooth under our makeup. 
So I mainly just try to focus it on my T-zone because that's where I have like the most pores and I just really want to smooth those out. Also, excuse my nails, they look ridiculous, but obviously right now, can't really do anything about that. I also broke this nail and I ripped it because it was just sticking out and hitting on things, so it looks like this. <laughs> so first things first, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I'm just gonna do them really quick off camera. And also, her eyebrows aren't super filled in, so I'm gonna fill mine in a little bit less than usual, but honestly, you can just do your eyebrows however you wanna do it. And I'm also using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade and just feathering in my brows pretty much. So I'm back. I'm just gonna brush them up just a little bit. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna just be using my um, Urban Decay Primer Potion to prime. Honestly, I like doing this more than using concealer because using concealer, I feel like it brightens my eye up a little too much. And maybe that's just because I'm using a concealer that's a little bit lighter, but I feel like this is less intense, especially for a look like this where we want it to look effortless. So I'm going to be using the Morphe Jaclyn Hill little mini palette. Um, and then I'm just going to be taking this light brown shade right here just to start off in the crease. I'm just going to go very lightly just on the crease. Sorry, you can see my disgusting Sephora mirror right here. And then I'm just going to kind of blend it up like that. And then I'm just going to blend this out. That's just what I'm going to be doing for a little bit. Just adding more and then blending it out and try to blend it upwards. I'm just going to try to blend everything upwards. Okay, so next I'm going to start by adding in some of that chocolate brown. Kind of more in the outer corner and trying to just like sweep it up. Actually I'm going to go like halfway I think into the crease. And then kind of just go right here in the outer corner. And then just try to sweep it up. And then once again, I'm just gonna blend everything together. So next, I'm gonna be adding this sparkly, kind of coppery tone shade. I'm gonna put this not just on my lid, but a little bit up, because it looks like there's Kind of that sparkly color going all the way up into the other eyeshadows in the crease. So I'm just gonna pack that on my lid and then we're just gonna have to blend it up. And then I'm gonna take my finger just to really pack it onto the lid. And I'm not getting scared to get this messy because I want it to be kind of blown out so we're gonna blend it all together anyway and then we're just gonna blend all of that together and I'm making sure to get some of the sparkly eyeshadow into the crease I'm gonna be mixing the super light brown shade and then the chocolate brown shade just adding that into the crease just a little bit just to bring back that brown and then, of course, we're just going to blend again. And now I'm just going to clean this up a little bit with a makeup wipe. Not exactly creating like just a straight line, just cleaning up under my eye and just going up a little bit. Then just blend the edges. I can tell she has a little bit of dark brown eyeshadow just at the ends and I think it's a little bit winged out so I'm gonna try to do that. I'm just gonna take this dark brown shade on just like a straight pencil brush like this and start at the outer corner. And then kind of try to wing it out just a little bit. 
Now I'm just gonna take a smudge or brush like this and just lighten this up a little bit. Not too much because we still want the eyeliner to be there, but just so it's more smoky. I think we're done with the eye look. Her face looks pretty simple, pretty glowy. So I'm just gonna do just a basic face. So I'm gonna be using my BB cream from Maybelline. Um, you can use any foundation, any kind of thing that you want. Um, her face looks pretty flawless, a little bit glowy, but not too much. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on. This might be a little bit too dark for me. We'll see. And then of course, blend on your neck. So I'm going to be using Tarte Shape Tape. Just going to put a little bit. I'm going to be careful when bringing it out not to mess up the eyeshadow that we have going on. I'm just going to blend that into everything so it doesn't look so harsh. Next, I'm going to set my under eyes with the Hourglass Veil Setting Powder. I'm not going to bake. I'm just going to dust this under my eyes just to set it. I'm going to go along here just to reinforce um, kind of that like eyeshadow wing that we did. And then I'm just gonna be setting my face with the Tarte um, Powder Foundation. <clears throat> Sometimes I do like to use this by itself, but I like to use a teeny tiny bit of this, just kind of dust it all over my face, just to add a little bit more coverage when I'm using like a BB cream. Before we go on to the contour and everything, I'm gonna go back into my eyeshadow palette and first, I'm just going to be taking this chocolate color, very lightly sweeping this under my eye with the same smudging brush. I'm just going to blend that out a bit so it's a little bit more smoked out and not like a straight line. And then I'm going to add that same copper eyeshadow under her eye because you can tell there is some of that sparkly eyeshadow there. We're done with that. It doesn't look like she has any kind of blush on or maybe it's just a really warm one. Um, it looks like mainly she just has some contour and really warm bronzer. So first we're going to contour. I'm using the Anastasia contour kit and I think I'm just going to go in with this cool brown just to carve out my cheekbones because she, her cheekbones are insane. So we're going to try to do that. Oh, I'm using this tart brush by the way and I'm just carving it out. I'm really ruining this hair that I did though. And then I'm also going to mix it with a little bit of the warmer brown just to warm up this contour and just darken it up a little bit. I'm also just gonna go on my forehead a little bit as well. I'm mainly just gonna bronze here, but I'm just doing a little bit. And then along my jawline as well. I'm gonna use this brown to contour my nose just a little bit. Okay. I'm not very good at contouring my nose, so I'm just going to leave it at that. And then it looks like her cheeks are carved out. So I'm going to use my hourglass powder again and just kind of carve out my contour. Okay, so we're going to look like this. I'm just going to put a little bit on the sides of my nose as well just to accentuate my nose contour. So we're gonna let that sit for just a second. Okay. And then we're just gonna brush that away. And brush this away as well. Now everything is just a little bit more defined. Next, I'm gonna bronze. I'm using the um, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. And I'm just gonna go a little bit ham on this one. And just in that same place, just like right above the contour, I want this almost as a blush. Going just right above that contour. 
I'm just bronzing my face up. And then I'm gonna add quite a bit of this to my forehead because it looks like her forehead is pretty bronzed as well. I'm going down my neck with this. And then just for a little bit extra warmth, I'm using this um, St. Germain Terracotta Blush. And it's just kind of like a bronzy type of blush. I'm just putting a little bit on my brush because it's very pigmented. And just kind of going up, kind of above that bronzer. Making sure not to go below because we already carved it out. Next, she does have a good amount of highlight on, so I'm gonna spray my face with the Morphe setting spray, and then I'm gonna be using my Becca highlighter in the color Opal. So I'm just gonna go right above my cheeks, this highlight. I forgot how crazy this highlight is. She has some highlight in her inner corner, so I'm gonna add some here as well. And then it looks like she has just a little bit on her brow bone. So I'm just gonna brighten that up. Just adding a little bit on my nose. It doesn't look like she has any on her cupid's bow, but I'm just gonna put a little bit. And then I'm just gonna blend this out. Her lips look pretty bronzy as well. So I'm gonna be using the KKW Beauty lip liner in nude 2. And it doesn't look like her lips are overlined way too much. So I'm just gonna line my lips how I normally would. And then I'm gonna also fill it in a little bit. And then I'm gonna blend it out a little bit with my finger because her lips don't look like they have a super sharp line to them. And then to top it off, to keep that glossy look, I'm not gonna add a lipstick, but I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Lip Gloss in Fenty Glow. Her lips look really glossy, so I'm gonna add a good amount of this. My lips are a little bit darker than hers because the lip liner I used was just a little bit darker. But there you have it. That is the makeup. I'm actually really happy with it. I feel like it came out a little bit darker than hers, but this is all just inspired. It's not gonna be exactly like it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys want me to recreate any other celebrity looks. I would love to do that, especially since I have nothing to do sitting at home. Let me know what other videos you guys want me to see and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.